COVID-19 continues to grow in our community. To date, there are over 2,500 positive cases in Minnesota. Felicia Parker, a Crystal resident, is recovering, and she joins us now. Hey, Felicia, how are you doing? Much better, how are you? Good, so you said your whole world changed on April 1st. What happened to you? I kind of woke up not feeling too good, um, but by Wednesday, I was pretty much down <clears throat> for the count. Um, started feeling sick, just body aches, uh, uh, runny, really, really runny nose, like a faucet, um, sore throat, itchy eyes, just weakness in my rapid, rapid breathing. Um, I didn't really kind of know what was going on. I thought maybe it was just, you know, kind of a cold, but I knew it didn't feel like the common cold. It didn't feel like, um, I also have asthma and it didn't feel like any of those things. So I knew something was different about this. And I immediately called my physician and did a vid virtual video chat. Um, and they sent me in, obviously, um, they weren't testing, but they did know that I had COVID from all the signs and symptoms that I was carrying at that time. I know you, you can still hear that your voice is hoarse now. Yeah, my voice is still hoarse. I still have some shortness of breath. Um, it's still a little weak, but better than what I was prior. Well, I know that you went to the doctor a couple times. Tell folks about the, your North Memorial visit when they, when they did the antibody test. I question why they weren't testing me. And um, if they said that I had COVID, why weren't you testing me? And obviously the natural supply, what they're saying is they don't have enough tests to be testing people unless you are admitted one to the hospital. Well, my breathing was very, very rapid and short and I was, you know, couldn't do things. But what they did was they drew like a lot of blood and I didn't understand that part. But I guess now they can look to see if you are a carrier and if your body is building antibodies against the, the virus. And so after uh, some hours of being there, the doctor finally came back and said, well, your body's building antibodies. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, you know, we're gonna just send you home, but if anything changes, definitely come back. So that was good news for me. Yeah, and, and you were telling me, you were really sick. When you went to North Memorial, you were saying you could hardly drive. Uh, by the grace of God, I made it to North Memorial. <clears throat> but by the time I got into the building, I almost passed out because um, I was just so weak and so dehydrated that they had to give me fluids, like two bags of fluids to just get, you know, my body back to some kind of um, normalcy as best they could. But yeah, I was really, really sick and I barely made it there, but I, I made it because I'm single. I made it by myself. So um, it was rough. It was rough. Um, I know you, you don't, you're not sure how you, you contacted the virus, but you're an essential worker. We won't tell your employer because I know um, you don't want to, you, you fear for getting in, in trouble. But um, what, is the, what is the message that you want people to I learn? would just wish that people would take it a little more serious. If the CDC is asking you to please stay home, social distance, be as safe as you can, wear your mask, wear goggles for your eyes. Um, do the best you can to, you know, help stop the spread because this is no joke. You know, <clears throat> like I said, I, I do a lot to change my life to be more healthy. And if it knocks me down, trust me, it can knock you down too. Perfect. Well, we appreciate you sharing your story. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope it helps everyone. And you guys, we will get through this. If we all do our part, we can make it through this. Well, we're so glad that she's recovering. For more on this story and others, check out our social media pages or log on to ccxmedia.org. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.